Hi, uh, I was changing the DVD drive for my Dell Dimension 4550 and I thought I can make a video, it might help someone. So here is my new drive and to open your Dell Dimension you have two of these plastic layers type things so you push them and pull this up so it opens up. All right, and it locks up here. So there is your DVD drive and you can see as I have already disconnected the connectors, it just goes here and here. So I will just pull it out and using these. So this comes my old drive out. Now depending on your drive, you have SATA drive or PATA drive, uh, you will have different kind of connections on the back if you see. And pay attention to this. There is a jumper here. So we'll have to Hi. set that jumper exactly same as in the old drive. So in the old drive we see it's all the way to the left. Uh, let me put it down, maybe then it will focus nicely. See this small it's not coming. white plastic piece. Yeah. Good. Okay, so you said same in the new one. So this is our new drive. So let's put it in same orientation so we can compare here. So you can see that new drive has jumper somewhere else so we need to set it same. So just put your thumb and index finger and pull it out gently and put it in the right slot. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we need to take these out. So I will take a small break and I will take these out. This you will have to just take, unscrew it from here, here and the other side, the same thing. And then I will continue once I get them off. Okay, so I took it out. The I don't know what to call it, these plastic tabs which you use to pull the drive out of the bay so just unscrew it from the old drive and then screw it back be careful of not over tightening it because this thing is just plastic and it will snap so just gently all right looks like pretty secure Okay, now just slide your drive back in the exact same orientation. Some of the computers you will have to pull the drive out from the front. So depending on your computer you will have to adapt. So it goes in and now all we have to do is connect it back. So first that one. goes to this I can't see if it's good so make sure it's secure no it's not
okay so it was opposite now it should slide in so it can go only one way actually all right i'm going to just push it slightly more if there is any slack left it doesn't look like all right and then connect the other one so this one connects it from the motherboard and that one the white one is for the power That looks pretty secure. When you take it out, if you see, you have this uh, plastic pull tab for taking it out. So you can use that to pull it out when you pull it out. But don't accidentally pull this wire, because if that breaks, then you will have a huge trouble. All right, so we. Uh, done check everything if everything looks okay nothing came out in all your operation and close the box and you're done you have a brand new DVD drive installed thank you for watching my video and um, give thumbs up if you like the video thank you